Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hassan, and you are listening to the Squashbuckler Diaries podcast, the epic fantasy, daily epic fantasy podcast about Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. And right now we are in the middle of a big arc, a small adventure that's, uh, that doesn't feel that small about Joy Shelley. We are at episode eight. We need her to survive. Uh, the Red Dragon will uh, tell us what happened so far, so I won't do that, and let's talk afterwards, okay? Let's see what happened to Joy. Episode 191, In the Land of the Giants, Part 8, Hungry and Thirsty. Joy's age four and a half, told by the Red Dragon. Dragonfather could not find his four and a half year old dragon little. It did not matter how many giants he conjured and beat up, none of them could tell him where his daughter was. They came from his mind, after all, they were his dreams. If he did not know something, then neither did they. That is some of what I've learned from living centuries in others' dreams. Dragonlil watched her father get angrier and angrier, more and more worried as time passed. He had never been away from his daughter for such a long time. He had never not known where she was. Dragonlil sat on the leaf and did not move from it, for that is what he had taught her to do if she was ever lost. She no doubt trusted him to return. But as the hours passed, she began to lick her lips, and then her father disappeared. He was flying above the forest in Bunny's revenge, looking for her, with special binoculars that had appeared in his hands just before he vanished. When he did, Dragonlil fell backwards to lie on the leaf. She would not leave it. The ship was too high above her, and when her father wasn't there, the forest had no life. She lay on her back on the leaf. She knew just as I did that her father would not return for sixteen more hours. Water, she said to no one. Water, water, water. After a few more hours, she fell asleep, hungry and thirsty. This is not an easy story to tell. It was not easy to watch and do nothing. But I knew then that I had to prepare Dragon Little for the hardships outside her father's dream. I am not strong. Tomorrow I will gather my strength and tell you what happened the next time her father showed up. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy, Justin, Joy Alone. The land of the giants. <sighs> and so, she, this is her second day. Like, she spent a day and a half, uh, without water, without food, hurt, wounded, and without any real hope of him finding her. Like, he, how is he going to find her the next time? And she's four and a half and she's doing it. She's doing it. She's doing the thing she's supposed to be to get rescued, which is hard for anyone, not to mention a four and a half year old kid, because that's how she survives in a dream, in a life of adventure. So one more thing before uh, we move on. Um, the red dragon keeps talking about dangers outside the dream. And while she's talking about this, I'm also finishing up book number one of uh, the Lost in Dreams books in which Joy, at age six, finds out she is in a dream and she leaves her father's dream to do, you know, you will find out. Um, and so it is interesting to me, it is funny to me, it's um, intriguing to me to, to talk about this thing and at the same time write about those dangers outside. And, you know... Uh, <laughs> And some of the things I write about here, I will not get to write about until uh, many books in the future. So anyway, like I said, um, there are Easter eggs everywhere. And sometimes I say, hey, this is a thing. And sometimes I never even mention that it, it's a thing, which is most of the time. Anyway, 
So, what happens to Joy? Come back tomorrow for part 9 of In the Land of the Giants. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, at gmail.com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hasson, and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. Thank <laughs> you.